Okay, so first let's talk about when a graph is proportional. We know that a graph is proportional when it goes through 0, 0, the origin or the middle of the graph. So I'm going to also show you how to find the slope on a graph. You have to figure out how to get from one dot on the line to another dot on the line. But this other dot has to be somewhere where you can tell me both coordinates. Those are the only ones that you can pick as other locations and other dots. So how do I get from here to here? Remember that slope is rise over run. Do not move diagonally to get here. You have to tell me how much you go up and how much you go to the right. So it is one up. So the rise is one. And the run is one, two, three, four. So the slope is one over four. Remember, if it goes down instead of up, okay? Remember, you always go from left to right. If it goes down, then the top number would end up being negative. All right, let's do the slope over here. What if you have no graph and all you have is the coordinates? Remember that it's rise over run, okay? The rise is controlled by the y's, which are the second numbers. So those are gonna, so seven, to 8. How does a 7 get to an 8 doing steps? It takes one step to get to 8. So, 1. How many steps does it take to get from 2 to negative 3? Well, this one's a little bit different because it's not going up. 7 to 8 is going up 1. That's why it stayed positive. This one's going 2 to negative 3. It's going down. How many steps does it take to get from 2 to negative 3? It's going to go down 5, which I'll mark as negative 5. And there we go. That's our slope. Now, what if I wanted you to put this proportional graph into a slope formula, which is right here? This is a proportional formula. Slope goes right there, right in front of the x. So our slope was negative 1 over 5. So to write this formula correctly, it would be y equals negative 1 over 5x. And that's it. If I wanted to write this one, which was 1 over 4, in a, as, a, as a formula, it would be y equals 1 over 4x. Now let's get to y-intercept. Y-intercept is when the line this line that I've graphed hits the Y line. So when does it hit it? So let me check. So I'm checking this one first. This one, the Y intercept is right there, which is one, two, three, four. So the Y intercept for this line is four. Okay, what's the Y intercept for the dotted line? The Y intercept for the dotted line, let me make little dotted lines so you know which one I'm talking about. Which one's for the dotted line is going to be right here, which is negative 2. So I'm going to write negative 2 over here. Negative 2. So the y-intercept is just when the line hits the y-line. When it intercepts with the y-line is the y-intercept. Okay? And that goes, that goes right at the end of the formula. So this would be the slope. The slope goes in front of the x. And the y-intercept goes all the way at the end. And that's the reason why this is called the slope-intercept. And that's it.